So the first thing we're going to want to do is click on this face right here. So make sure that you have the surface selector selected here. And then we're going to click on this face. And we're going to click on this button again to look at this face normal to it. Next we're going to click on this display pane which will bring back our grid lines. Now the next step to create this is we're going to click on again the XY plane here and we're going to click on this button here which is create a new sketch. So let's go and click on this button right now. This creates here under the XY plane something called sketch 2 by default. Once again if you want to rename this we can rename this right here but we're going to leave this as sketch 2 for now by default. Now once we're in sketch 2 we're going to create another box which will be the base of our lifting lug. So in sketch 2 Let's move over to the sketching tab by clicking on this button right here. Once in the sketching tab, we're going to go and move this a bit down to get a bit more view. And then we're going to create another rectangle. So let's go and click on a point here and click on another point here. Next, we're going to go back into dimensions and we're going to choose semi-automatic once again. And we're going to do the repeat the same process and click on here. Select L5, L6, H7, and V8. So now we're going to bring this details window back up and we're going to add our dimensions right here. So the first one we want to choose is L5 and we want the base of this to be about 100 millimeters. So we're going to put 100 here. We're going to put this one L6 as 100. Hit enter. And then the spacing between the axis we're going to put half of that so 50 and V8 will be 50. Once that's done we're going to want to go and extrude this. So click on the modeling and then click on the extrude button here and we're going to choose sketch 2 click on apply and then just going to look at this in 3d view here to see what's happening already and now we have our material extruding in the normal Z plane which is what we want and we're going to extrude this we're going to change this to 10 millimeters as the depth and because we want to add this as a new part and separate from the base we're going to change the operation from add material to add frozen and then we're going to go and click on generate right here so now we have the base of our lifting lug so the next thing we want to do is go into our two parts and right click on this solid and rename this to lifting lug next up we're going to complete the lifting lug by adding the vertical part to this base plane so what we're going to do is using the selection filter on faces we're going to select this top face right here and next what we're going to do is once this face is selected we're going to click on this button here and now this creates a new plane so what this is going to do automatically is create a new plane from the face that we selected so as you can see here the plane now is called plane 4 and the type is from face and you can have it from a plane you can have it from another centroid so this creates a new place based on let's say a coordinate system or another plane so in this case we have the from face and the base face we have is selected is already selected this one right here so you can see now it creates a new coordinate system on the top of this face right here next what we're going to do is we're going to click on generate to create this base plane so now we have a new coordinate system which is on the top of this base of the lifting lug next what we're going to do is we're going to click on the normal two now there's also another way of doing that by clicking on the Z right here and now we're normal to the surface now what we want to do is we want to create a sketch projection in order to retrieve these lines in order to be used for our sketch. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on plane 4, click on insert and then click on sketch projection. Now once that's done we want to select the geometry which is this face right here and click on apply. Then click on generate. Now once you have that we can click on sketch 4 and we can see here now that it projected these edges of this base plate onto this new sketch. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the sketching mode and we're going to draw a rectangle. So click on the rectangle tool and we're going to draw a rectangle. Now as you can see here there's a little C that comes up which means that it's snapping to this edge right here. So we're going to click on that and then we're going to click on the other point right here where it snaps on the bottom of this line right here now we have our rectangle now we need to dimension it so we're gonna go into dimensions and once again we're gonna click on semi-automatic so now it's dimensioning the width here the distance from the origin 
and that's it. So basically the length of this right here we know is 100 millimeters and I want this uh, lifting lug top plate to be about 15 millimeters thick. So if you do the math, this uh, dimension right here, we're going to want H2 to be 42.5 millimeters and we're going to want this length here to be 15. So that's squarely centered in between. We're going to go now and click on the modeling tab right here and then click on the extrude button and now here we want to make sure that the geometry that we're extruding is sketch 5 so it created a new sketch here called sketch 5 we're going to click on apply and the extrude depth will be 100 millimeters so go now and click on generate now if I rotate this around you'll see here that it created a new slab here which will be the top of the lifting lug and if I scroll down here it created a new solid Next what we want to do is round up the corners over here so we're going to use the blend tool. So right now we'll click on blend, we'll choose a fixed radius and now using the edge we're going to choose these two edges here, this one, and we're going to hold control and select the other edge right here. Now with these two edges selected we're going to click and hit on the apply for the geometry and for the FD1 radius we're going to add 50 millimeters. Once that's done, we'll click on Generate. Now, in order to create a hole for our new lifting lug, we're going to actually choose a different plane now. So here we're going to see the ZX. No, we're going to use the YZ plane. So let's look normal to the YZ plane. Then click on this button right here to create a new plane. And now it will create a new plane called Plane 6, and it will take it from the base plane YZ plane, and it won't transform it and it won't change it whatsoever. So let's click on Generate. So now this generated a plane 6, which is identical to the YZ plane. But now what we can do with this is we can right click on plane 6 and insert once again a sketch projection. So let's click on that and let's choose this face right here and click on apply and then click on generate. Now we have the sketch projection of this top part of our lifting lug. So let's once again go normal to this by using this button and we can see here it created something called sketch 8. So with sketch 8 selected let's click on the sketching mode. Now here what we're going to do is click on the circle and we're going to snap to this middle point right here and we're going to draw out a circle and now we're going to click on dimension and instead of this time using the semi-automatic dimension what we're going to use is we're going to actually do it our ourselves and we're going to choose a vertical dimension and we're going to click on this point here and the second point will be using the, the, the point selector here only, we'll select this point here and we'll draw out a dimension and then we'll use a diameter and then we'll click on the ring here and we'll click again to select the diameter and now here at the bottom in the details view we will choose V1 will equal 50 and the diameter will be 40. Now that's done we're gonna go and click on the extrude button right here and now as we can see it's extruding on one side only so what we want to do is look at the details view again and choose instead of the add material operation we're going to go and cut material and instead of the direction being normal we're going to have both symmetric and now 100 millimeters will cut through all of this it's more than we need but it will be enough to cut through both sides of this material let's click on generate now we have the hole for our lifting lug now the next step is we want to join these two materials together so what we're going to do is click on the create menu click on boolean and then using the body selector we're going to select this body and holding the control key select the base plate and then click on apply and by default the operation is unite so this will unite both bodies together and then click on generate now once the both bodies are joined we would like to add a radius to this sharp corner right here so let's click on the blend tool, fixed radius, and then using the edge selector, we're going to click on this edge, and then holding control, we're going to select this other edge over here, and then click on apply under the geometry tab here. And for the radius, we're going to enter 10 millimeters. Once that's all set, let's click on generate.